Well, good morning. Seems like the only time I have a minute to make a little video is when I'm putting my makeup on. This is the best place to do it anyway. I'm going to turn this just a little bit because I'm going to go in this direction. I um, am getting ready to go to Albuquerque um, to see my daughter and possibly pick up my granddaughter. I might uh, be able to do that today. Um, since my daughter is busy working, she may could use a little backup. It would be nice to have my granddaughter here. Had a couple of little um, checks come in. One was my last paycheck, uh, which I forgot I would even be getting um, from my job. And so, you know, that will help out. Um, so I'm going to be able to get my dad's box of things that I had picked up for him ages ago, finally shipped off. My poor dad, he, he goes without Christmas like every year and he stays home by himself and it's just heartbreaking and I hate it so much and I always try to at least get something done and he doesn't even need the stuff. He has so much stuff, but he, um, you know, it's Christmas. He wants goodies like everybody else. And, um, so I'm going to do that. Um, I, uh, had not, oh, and I'm also going to take 22 Lee John's stuff to my daughter. We're going to put it all together and send off her special, um, goodie. Uh, but I, I'm not going to say anything else about till she gets it. And, um, cause I know she, she'll probably share it and I will share a video of it when, when she, hopefully she will unpack it and share it with you guys and let you see it because it is pretty amazing. I'm so proud of my daughter on that deal because she did such a great job. She doesn't even know the girl, you know, and in my opinion, she pegged her like the bag. <laughs> well, she knows it's a bag anyways. <laughs> But it, it's, it's totally this girl. I mean, it, it is. And, um, darn it. <laughs> Maybe I should start over. She knows anyways. She probably won't even watch this vlog. Um, but she does know it's a bag. That my daughter was making her bag. But she didn't know. Um, first of all, she didn't know that we were not going to charge her for it. That's the real surprise. And, um, also, it's just, just so much, like, seriously... Um, anyway, it, it's, it's adorable. So I'm going to do that. I ordered the, uh, magnets for the little passies I'm going to be making. And, um, gosh, I looked at pacifiers and stuff on eBay. They go for ridiculous amounts. Now, I, you know, and I know that a couple people that are on YouTube sell those. So I, you know, I hate to undercut them, but, you know, I'm going to have to because there's no way that I'm going to be selling pacifiers for $8 just ain't gonna happen magnet or no magnet <laughs> I'm, I just can't do it and um, so anyway like I said I have a few little bucks so I'm gonna go uh, to the second hand or not so second well uh, yeah I might go second hand actually now that I think of it because um, there was some stuff I wanted to get for my boys and I didn't get it while I was up there with my mom my mom is what I really need, the point that I really need to get to. Um, my mom and I have not spoken to each other for over a week. Um, and it's over something ridiculous. And I, and I'm, I hate that we're fighting at Christmas time. But, um, you know, I really didn't, I mean, I didn't mean for it to be a fight, but it ended up a fight. And, um, you know, she's not speaking to me because I've, you know, I said what was on my mind, and sometimes that's not pretty, you know. The thing is, is that I do tons for my mom. I constantly help my mom out. Um, I work for her all the time. I never get paid. Um, I never ask to get paid. I, uh, you know, loan her money constantly, um, which also I don't ask to be repaid for. Um, and over the past couple years, I've loaned her a lot and the thing is is that she lives you know with her man and he's a lot younger than her and I really you know I, I've known the guy for years and you know if it makes my mom happy okay great but let me tell you it was not the normal person that my mom 
would have hooked up with. And um, they've been together for years now, so I can't even really, like, say much except for the fact that, you know, he has um, kind of taken advantage of having me on call all the time to do stuff for my mom. And, um, you know, when I save him money all the time, he doesn't have to take off work to take his wife to the hospital or, um, you know, doctor's appointments, all this kind of stuff. Most of the time I end up paying for the motel room because she doesn't have enough money or whatever. You know, it, it, none of that matters. What matters is, is that, okay, um, what matters is, is that, I don't know, it, about this time last year, okay, Christmas time last year, we had our friend Tootie over. I think I told you guys about Tootie a few times. And um, she passed away just a couple months after Christmas. She was very good friends with my mom. And um, she was my friend too, but she was really good friends with my mom. And uh, she was just a sweet, sweetheart of a lady, okay. Well, for years, she had this old station wagon out on the highway that she wanted for sale. And I wanted it and wanted it and wanted it. And one time I even offered her when I had the money, a thousand dollars cash for it. Um, it was a neat old, very long and thin, not a very tall square station wagon, but a very long, thin one. Okay. I, I don't even know what year it is. It's, it's pretty old. Wooden sides, um, kind of a creamy beige color. At the time it had an interlock system in it because she had an interlock. Anyway, I offered her $1,000 for it, and uh, one of my friends went behind me and offered her 1500 and then backed out on the deal. And when she backed out on the deal, um, I didn't have the money anymore, okay? So it got by me. And then, um, you know, my dad gave me a car a few years ago, and it broke down within a week. It was my grandfather's car. And um, my mom's man is a mechanic, and I don't want to run out of time. And he said that he would fix it for me, and he never did. Well, anyway, long story short, a few months after Tootie passed away, um, her husband calls my mom and says, I need you to get this car out of here. It was the first that I knew that Tootie had given the station wagon to my mom for her boyfriend. And my mom said, you know, Harold's too proud. He's not going to want it. I want you to have it. And I really wanted it. I mean, I wanted it for years and years, you know. Um, so he says, I need you to get this car out of here because I'm tired of looking at it. And um, so my mom says, okay, fine. So she goes and gets the car and never says another word to me about it, about I can have it, I can drive it, whatever. Well, she kept saying, you know, um, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to clean it out and let you drive it, okay? Well, a couple weeks before the... Uh, before my husband wrecked the truck, uh, she had told me that uh, Harold offered it to me. Could I, did I want to buy it? Okay. And it was like uh, very small payments um, for 875, 850 or 875. I don't remember. She didn't even really give me a real price, you know. She said like 850 or 875, something like that. Make small payments on it when you can and blah, 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 blah. Well, then me and my mom had a falling out um, with me working over there, and uh, I quit because we were, she was just being such a bitch. I couldn't be around her. I mean, it was just like it was getting to be ridiculous, you know, and um, so she kept saying every day, oh, I'm going to clean that car out and bring it to you on Monday. I'm going to clean that car out and bring it to you on a Monday, and she, that kept going on and kept going on. Then when my husband wrecked the pickup, I called her. I said, look, I really need that car cleaned out. I need it. And I don't know how many times she said, well, I can't do it. And I offered to go and clean it out. And all that's in it was a bunch of Harold's tools and a bunch of crap. They throw stuff all over their yard, and they shoved it in all in the car. And, and um, she said, but I can't do it because it's Harold's. You can't do it because it's Harold's stuff, and he needs to put it all away and whatnot. I'm like, okay, great, you know. Um, I think I'm going to stop right here. And uh, 